Hey guys, welcome to Brick Boy, the show where you Lego sets, and today we got another Brickmaster Atlantis book set thing. It's the Deep Sea Dash model, and it's probably one of my favorite models in the game, or not in the game, in the thing, in the set. Um, as you can see, I'm playing some Starfy, which is from the music, it's the game that the music is from, that we're listening to right now. Um, YouTube wasn't really reliable to get an extended version of the song, so I thought as well. I, I thought I might as well play it from my actual Starfy cartridge on my awesome looking Nintendo DS. So let's get down to the set. First, as always, we're gonna look at the book, and again, the song is from the Hacha Springs area in Legendary Starfy, obviously. The page is 21. And here we go, Deep Sea Dash. Let me zoom out a little. Oh, it is zoomed out. Uh, if you want to read that, go ahead. Oh, sorry about that. Just not exactly a big fan of this thing, this style. Of thing. Got some illustrations. Let me get my hands around the tripod. Watch out for the sea snake. Real threatening snake. Top tip, make sure you don't oh, you don't lose any of the crystal pieces by keeping them in the bag or envelope. What? In a bag or an envelope. That's kind of a lame one. Keep it in a bag or an envelope. <laughs> Apparently it's called the Scorpion Submarine. It's a little blueprint, I guess. Uh, yeah. Again, I always feel obligated to do this because the sets are so small. I got some scorpion screen. Continued, I think that is. Watch out, Bobby! I love this! The model is nearly finished! Like it really matters. And, uh, that's the whole page. As you can see, there's no enemy- oh, no enemy vehicle. As you can see, there's a lot of black pieces left in the, uh, the bag. Again, watch my other three models first. That would be the Drilling Mission, Treasure Hunt, and, uh, Ocean Attack. Now we're gonna look at Deep Sea Dash, finally. So first, let's look at the minifigures. Oh. Here is, uh, Bobby Bayou. Trying to get him. Okay. Uh, again, same minifigure as the other sets. The two faces. Yeah. Put them back into the thingy. Whatever the heck this is. Yeah, that's what it's called, but whatever the heck this is. Um. What? what just happened. I'm very confused. Oh. Wait, what? Huh? Must have. Oh. Great. Oh, super. Sorry, I keep destroying this set. Not exactly stable. Sorry. There. Again, really sorry. Here we got the Manta Ray, or the Manta Warrior. He's got the ready there, such. And instead of this trident, he's got a little uh, dagger, I guess. The trident is on the set. See, so yeah, that's the Manta Warrior. Now let's get to the little patch of ground. You can see it's got the trident right here, some seaweed, little red piece right there. And there's the deadly sea snake. I like the spikes here. And you open the chest and there's some jewels, there's four. There is a white one, a red one, a blue one, and a green one. Again, that's just two pieces. That's a pretty nice little thing. So here's the sea scorpion, or whatever it's called. Got the two propellers up the front. Two little headlights. 
that opens like that. There's nothing really keeping it steady. That doesn't really matter. Uh, there's the bottom. Wait, what? Awesome! That fell off too, didn't it? I'll get it later. So yeah, it's got those and those little lights. And the scorpion tail has a bunch of flexing points. Got the rifle at the end. Whoa! The set is not stable in the slightest. Yeah, that's the set. This is probably one of my favorites. It might be better than the drilling mission. I don't really know. It, it probably is because of the, uh... The... I don't know what to say. The, um... It, the drilling mission's better because of the... That's more sturdy, kind of. But this set is not very sturdy. I guess the, neither one is very sturdy, but the other one you're not going to be moving a lot. So, yeah. Tune in next time where we look at the Crystal Catch. And before we go... Let's wake up Star Starfy. Get up! Later.